Hey everyone, welcome to Jason Explains Things. In our last Chevy Colorado video, we did the giant job of modifying Chris's truck to add 35 inch tires. But Chris, that's not where this story ends. That is not at all where this ends because <laughs> now that we've made it look pretty, we want to make it drive pretty, which it doesn't right now. <laughs> How bad of gas mileage are we talking with these guys here? Right now, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. So we are up here in Casimir, Washington at Nitro Gear and Axle. Uh, Jason, sometimes you gotta know when to do it yourself and when to leave it to the professionals. Yes. So we have the really cool opportunity of seeing a pro in their natural environment. These guys do, look the do business. Do diffs all day long. All day diffs. <laughs> all day, every yep. day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man, I think they're opening up a bay for us. It's our turn next. We should probably go inside where it's warm. Well, guys, I hope you are really geared up for a video about gears, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, Chris? Because it's gears. <laughs> Before we tear into this job and meet the master tech who will be showing us the process, let's first see how truly awful the Chevy Colorado ZR2 is on 35-inch tires with stock gearing. Issue number one with just throwing 35s on your truck is it slow? It feels a little slow. It definitely feels a lot heavier. I think we should go do some science and find out exactly how slow it is. For science. We're using an OBD device to use the truck's GPS to get an accurate zero to 60. We're recording. Three, two, one, go. There it is. Go. At least, yeah. <laughs> yes! Oh, you win? <laughs> the Tacoma okay. is fast! 10.34. What was your Tacoma, just out of curiosity? Nine point Ooh. something. Chris, why are we here at the gas station? Jason, it's because we're always here at the gas station right now. Well, it sounds like you need Tecron Complete Fuel System Cleaner. It'll help you. Th thanks. I'll take what I can get. So I, I'm i running about what, about 240 miles right now since we put these on and we are averaging a solid 13.3 miles to the gallon. Wow, people yeah. used to make fun of you for getting 15 miles per gallon. Well, now they have more ammunition, Jason, but only for a little bit because we're hopefully going to fix it. So we got the Colorado here in the shop. Do you guys do a lot of Colorados here or what's your, what's your main focus here? I, I've done a few. We do so many Toyotas, it's not even funny. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. But we do, yeah, we, we do it all. I mean, I've, from, you know, Ram 3500s to, to JK's, JL's. So when I called in, I yeah. was intending on doing 410s in here. I called in and was told definitely uh, 456s. Yeah. What's the reasoning behind that? So we base most of it off of tire size okay. and also what engine you're, you're running. Um, diesels tend to go a little less gearing uh, than, than the gas engines, but it's also, uh, so tire size more than anything, but also the amount of weight uh, you're gonna okay. be carrying. Are you towing? That type of thing. Let's tear apart the rear end. This isn't a full how-to video because that'd be like three hours long, but you'll get a good overview of the whole process from someone who's done this probably thousands of times. There we go. Oh yeah, you need it. Ooh. Ooh. Mm, yum, yum, yum. I take it back. I think that's the color of GM's oil now. We got tired of people thinking that they're seeing their disc so they just give oh. them gray oil. <laughs> You can reuse carrier bearings all day long, but don't reuse pinion bearings. Because if you tighten up the preload on the pinion bearings, they're gonna blow out within a thousand miles. Oh, wow. Great, hey, that works great. I love it when it goes right and it's on camera. <laughs> Got a little hot at one point. Chris, you got it hot at one point. Chris, it was hot. Yeah. See how it's brown? When it's blue, that's when you're in trouble. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's all that mall crawling. Yep. Yeah. 
Jeffrey. Oh, <laughs> You're calling out Jeffrey, huh? No, I'm not calling out. Oh, that's going in. I hope you got that on camera. Those aren't hot at all. <laughs> I'm sure they're not. <laughs> it's still hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what kind of Loctite are we looking at? Red. Red. Got it. Yeah. Yep, still hot. <laughs> So after you have it all tightened down, you just give it a smack on both ends. Yeah, this one didn't change, so it sat right, nice. so that's good. Watching Jared do this job kind of blew our minds. Differential work requires tons of specialized tools and knowledge. Also, brute force. Junior sends a high five ball bouncing deep to center field. It is grand salami time. There's a, how we look at six to ten and we're at nine, so I'm calling that good. Oh yeah, we are a little deep. A little deep? A little deep. You see here how you have this this hard line right here, mm -hmm. and then it just kind of fades off into nothing. I'm too deep, which means that the head of the pinion is too far towards the center line of the outside. So I need to I need to take shim out to run the, the, the pinion head that way. Round two. Yep. And now you can see what I was talking about. You got a nice bracketed oval. Mm. You know you have you have a nice you have a nice edge up here. trick to this is you tighten it down as tight as you can get it. Halfway there, the front is very different since the Colorado has independent front suspension instead of a straight axle like the good old days. The front differential assembly needs to be removed from the truck. To do this, the steering knuckle must be removed so the CV axles can be removed, along with disconnecting the drive shaft. Oh, that was surprisingly easy. They caught you eating a brand new box the other day. What? Ripping it up. You eat a you ate a new box? Oh man, this is no, this isn't the one. This is easier. Than, it was the Ford I was thinking of. Oh, okay. There is a gasket between here. Mm -hmm. It's reusable. Oh, good. And there's the there's the ah oh. the steel. You see right here, that black spacer? Mm -hmm. That's nylon, so don't pry against it. It's a door. Oh, look at it spin. It spins, Chris. Nine hours in, and it was quitting time. Jared told us Tacomas are possible to re-gear in one day, but the Colorado is always a two-day job. All right, we are here for day two of uh, the re-gearing process, and I want these dogs to like me, so I might have brought bribes. Oh, you know what? That's the best I've ever seen you grab a treat out of someone's hand. Here you go. There you go. Uh, good, job. Yes. good job. Good job, took it. All set. Jeffrey got himself banned yesterday. Oh, he did. He no, did. Yes, I told him to stop, like, con like, like uh, insulting other people in the comments, uh -huh. and he called me a bitch and told me to, that I had a stick up my. Ass. Oh. 
uh, you're gonna gain a lot more torque on the bottom end. So uh, a lot of the customers that come in, they're always excited because they put their vehicle in reverse, get the foot off the brake, and it rolls. They don't have to step on the gas to get it to go. Nice. Low end, for low, you've, it's basically a gear reduction. So yeah. you, your, your crawl control yeah, is a lot yeah. better. The best part is, is out on the highway, your RPMs will be higher than they were before, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because your foot's not to the floor to keep highway speeds. You're not as into your gas pedal as you were before. And because of that, a lot of people will see an increase in their gas mileage. Seven thousands. Seven thousands. Dead nuts. Oh yeah, look at that. But mm. yeah, no, that, that pattern is that's that's plenty good. Cool. Easy, Four dollars. Hi Sadie. Easy. Had a traumatizing experience. You had to go to the DEP. Is she okay now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. You and your giraffe. Regearing is done, but we have a surprise step for you. We need to get the truck's transmission and speedometer to play nice with the new setup. So Hacker Chris will now demonstrate. Hack the planet. Hack the planet! So we reached out to uh, Trifecta Tune. They're one of the only GM public tuners. So this is going to give us three modes. You're going to have an eco mode. You're going to have a sport mode. Nice. And a tow haul mode. Um, sent off all of the vehicle's information to them. They downloaded or created a calibration tune for the size of the tires, the gears, and everything that we have on it. So I'm really excited to see how it performs. And is this tune required? Not required, I don't think so. But I think it's going to solve a lot of potential problems. Um, gotcha. There have been, you know, troubles especially with i think it's more prevalent in the diesels of you know trucks throwing into limp mode things like that so what's the general process process is very very easy so they sent me over they have kind of a web portal where you can go and download the tunes specific for your vehicle the vin number all that good stuff so on this one i have a wide variety of tunes i can look at or download just select it they have a little launcher that you download put it in there usb into the obd2 yep. port and uh, away you go. Uh, the whole process, I think, takes about 10 minutes to actually load it onto the truck. And while we were talking, it finished. Nice. Let's hit the road for a test drive, go over the break-in procedure, and give you all an update on any improvements for speed and gas mileage. So what, uh, uh, Jared, what is yes. our break-in again? 10 miles, 20 minutes. Okay. okay. And then we let it sit. And then just let it sit for, and then, then, then do it again. And then right. do it again. Sounds great. Okay. Which way are we going? I'll follow your lead. Uh, so go out, take a take a right, and then take a right. Stop sign. Okay. So as far as braking goes, um, can I floor it? Can I? I try to avoid it. You know, try to baby it a right. little bit. Um, right. I'll test out the tune later. Then is what you're saying. Yeah. It's hard not to do. Your, your new sport mode. Sport mode. And so how many times do we need to do this cycle of drive ten minutes and then wait? Uh, I always recommend five. Five. five? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, we're done early enough. I can fit that in, no problem. Yeah. yeah. And I'll just I'll leave you to that. That's fine. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Have fun with that. I'll yeah. wait it. <laughs> yeah. How does it feel, Chris? It feels great. It feels it feels uh, not back to stock, but it feels right again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The shift points. <laughs> putting those tires on we're just all over the place <laughs> so this is uh it feels good again it, it's very drivable it feels great um yeah um i'm very happy with it so far it's a squeak. is, is there a squeak anything yeah sound. so that's not the gears that's uh um uh i call him jiminy that's jiminy it's my resident indoor cricket oh wow yeah i'll kill him someday there's right. a squeak whistle going it's yep. okay yeah hmm. my toyota doesn't have that I'm 
sorry. <laughs> I'm sad it doesn't. <laughs> It's clearly not a man's truck. We, uh, we call that, yeah, in America we call that personality. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Say goodbye to Chris. I'm He'll gonna go back and edit him out of every video. <laughs> never, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna blur your face in every video. <laughs> you can go to hell and die. <laughs> you can go to hell and you die. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jared. Really appreciate it. Thank Great you. to My meet pleasure. you. It was awesome. Nice to meet you guys. It was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. All right, well, now the uh, slow trudge home yes. begins. Yeah. All right. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right. And maybe, uh, Jared, maybe you'll see that later. Who can say? Maybe, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. In the week since the re-gear, Chris reports low in torque is awesome, but speed in general, go! Good. Wasn't any faster. No. Oh. Gas mileage, on the other hand, has been awesome. Driving around 40 to 50 miles per hour, Chris is getting above 17 miles per gallon. Mixed driving between 15 and 16 miles per gallon. So essentially, he's back to where he was before the 35 inch tires. We did the rear diff fluid change right at 500 miles for an epic adventure you're going to see very soon. Hold well on. Yeah, man. Woo! So stay tuned for that. Thank you, Jared and Nitro Gear and Axel for allowing us to film this video. God bless, and don't forget to do it yourself. Do, do we have permission to add? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Max Powell. <laughs> it's happening, dude. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Classic one-upper. Throw down.